Hello guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Nate from Shepherd Basketball. <clears throat> now, in this video, let's have some fun. I'm going to talk about is LeBron James better than Michael Jordan? Is LeBron James the GOAT? Is LeBron James better than Michael Jordan? Now, let's set the record straight. Now, I'm a big Laker fan. Those of you guys who've been following my channel, you guys will know that I'm a Laker fan, <clears throat> and I'm a huge Michael Jordan fan. I think he's one of the greatest. I think he is the greatest player of all times. Not that I like him. I'm going on purely stats. His numbers, 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 numbers. Now, you guys can say, well, it was Kareem or it's Dr. J or it's Magic or whatever, whatever. Is it Kobe? Now, granted, most people are going to agree with their favorite player that they grew up watching. So, I'm almost 40 years old, so... I was blessed to see Magic, Kareem, Jordan, Kobe, and now the greatness of LeBron James. So we're just going to go strictly off stats. We're going to go off stats. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you who I think is better. Okay, let's go strictly off stats. Let's leave our opinions at the door. That's why if you follow me on my channel... I stick to strictly facts, stats. Uh, I give commentary of the game. I show a lot of stats, the standings, because it's easy to voice your opinion. Whether you dislike a person, you like a person, or he plays for this team, or he plays for this team, but I don't like that team. Because a lot of fans will discredit a player depending upon the team that he plays for. Like what I used to do, I didn't like the Celtics because they were the Los Angeles Lakers rivalries. So I would discredit Larry Bird. That's when I was a kid. As I got older, okay, that's stupid to do that. Just like uh, a lot of people are not Patriots fans. So they will say, ah, Tom Brady's not that good. Nah, Tom Brady's overrated. Well, it's easy to say that when you don't like somebody. But if you're going off stats, it can prove otherwise. So we're going to go strictly off stats and numbers. And you can go Google them. You can go Google these. Once again, that's why when I do stats, I usually go to a credible source and I read the stats so you guys can see it for yourself. And then I'll interject my opinion and my expertise as I'm reading the stats because anybody can just get on here and just read stats. But me, I mean, I look like it, but <laughs> I used to play the game. Middle school, travel ball, high school, and college. And I currently coach. Go to shepherdbasketball.com. <clears throat> okay. With that being said, let's go off LeBron James' uh, stats and his awards. Three-time NBA champion. Two with Miami, one with Cleveland. Okay, three-time NBA Finals MVP, four times League MVP, 14-time All-Star, three-time All-Star MVP. He made it to the NBA first team 12 times, five-time NBA all defensive first team. Won rookie of the year. And he won two gold medals. Now there's other awards that I'm not going to get into because I'll be here all night. Okay. <clears throat> 
points. He averages a combined total career, 27.2 points per game, rebounds, 7.4 rebounds per game, assists, 7.7 assists per game. That's LeBron James. Those are his numbers. <coughs> Michael Jordan. Let's go off Michael Jordan's number. Now, I had a highlight video that I spent a while putting together and piecing it together, and YouTube hit me with a copyright. So, I'm doing it this way. Okay, Michael Jordan. Okay. Six time NBA champion. Six time NBA champion. Now, let me pause it right here because every time I mention Michael uh, Jordan winning it six times, I'll have a Michael Jordan hater will try to argue this and devalue that um, that accomplishment. And, and I have a buddy of mine, and if he's watching this video, he does this all the time. And he will say, Robert Horry won more. Robert Horry. Then he'll mention Horry. Who's another player that won the multiple titles? I think Horry won. Robert Horry won. Okay, hold on. He won two with the Rockets, three with the Lakers, and... Two with San Antonio. Two with the Rockets, three with the Lakers, two with San Antonio. So he would try, always try to throw up Robert Ori, and he would throw up another player who won multiple titles and would try to say, see, that doesn't matter. But this does. He won six time in finals MVP. Six times finals MVP. He won the league in MVP five times. LeBron James won it four times. LeBron James is a three-time NBA champion. Michael Jordan is a six-time NBA champion. Uh, um, LeBron James won the finals MVP three times. Michael Jordan, six times. Michael Jordan made the all-star which LeBron James was going to pass this. Um, Michael Jordan made it 14 times. LeBron James made it 14 times. But after this season, next season, he's going to pass that. Mind you, Michael Jordan retired t on two occasions. Uh, don't forget that. Uh, Michael Jordan was a three-time NBA All-Star MVP as well. Michael Jordan made the uh, NBA first team 10 times. LeBron James made it 12. Michael Jordan made the he's a, uh, excuse me first team NBA defense nine times. First team defense nine times. LeBron James won Rookie of the Year. Michael Jordan won Rookie of the Year. Also, too, Michael Jordan won two slam dunk contests. Michael Jordan also had two gold medals. A lot of people don't remember. He won it in 84 and 92. Okay. Stats. LeBron James, 27.2 points a game. Michael Jordan, 30 points per game, rebounds 6.2 rebounds, and assists 5.3 assists. Okay, so comparing those numbers, LeBron James got more. LeBron James got more rebounds. LeBron James got more assists. Michael Jordan scored more points. Okay, other than the titles. LeBron James is up there. He's pretty close. But if you're going off the titles and six-time NBA champion and finals MVP, okay, excuse me, <coughs> finals MVP, okay, if you're going off that, and let's go off total points. I didn't... Uh, well, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that because actually, 
we're going off total points. So if we're going off total points, total points. Okay, so his total points is thirty two thousand two hundred and ninety two points. LeBron James total points. James total career points. Hmm. LeBron James is thirty one thousand nine hundred and sixty six. Yeah, he's almost up there. Mind you, Michael Jordan retired on two occasions. LeBron James didn't take a break. It's pretty close, guys. Now, when I first did this, I'm like, ah, oh, Michael Jordan. Ah, oh, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan's the greatest. Michael Jordan. And then I started comparing the numbers. That's why I say you have to compare the numbers. You have to compare the numbers. Okay, Michael Jordan had a had better coaching. Phil Jackson is one of, not the, he's one of the greatest coaches of all times. What is the heck is this? Throw him out, throw him out. One of the greatest coaches of all, all times. Who did who did uh, LeBron James have as coach? Tyron Lue? Eric Spolstra? Um... I have to say, unbiasedly, I have to say, slight edge to Michael Jordan. Slight edge to Michael Jordan is better than LeBron James. Just going off the stats and the numbers, slight edge to Michael Jordan. Now, of course, you guys are going to disagree with me. A lot of you guys are going to disagree with me. LeBron James is he's up there. Just looking at the numbers, just went off the numbers and looking at everything. I give a slight edge to Michael Jordan. Okay, so thank you guys for listening and tuning in to me. Make sure you guys uh, share this video and hit that like button. Come on, hit that like button and comment, guys. Comment, don't be scared. And subscribe. It's your boy Nate. I'm out.